Hi folks, welcome to Money Riders' first uh, YouTube show. We're going to have a look back at some of the action from last weekend. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully you can give us your opinions and thoughts on uh, on our Facebook page, uh, on Twitter. Um, that'll all be at the end of the uh, show. So let's have a look at what we're going to talk about first. The Varga Wall. So guys, what do you think of the weekend then? That was one impressive win. I mean, a relatively unexposed mm. Warren Gray trick source. Yeah. To win by what was it? 16. 16. 16, 16 yeah. Boggy. Boggy as hell out there. We all knew what the conditions were going to be like. Yeah, and it did very well. It's a horse that mm. we've been back in yeah, for definitely. a yeah, good yeah. couple of weeks yeah. now. Mm. Really didn't know how yeah. that was going to pan yeah. out. It was going to go off odds on favourite, something like 8 to 11 on. Or something yeah. like something I, well, I think we backed it three times, three yeah. wins. I mean, as, yeah. as it is, mm. stay as hurdle. Yeah. Well, yeah, definitely. I mean, where, Possibility else, do you, on that um, one. where else do you go after that? I mean, question marks about the ground. Um, Warren Bradrick himself says, wasn't sure yeah. it would handle mm. heavy conditions. Yeah. Didn't well, the issue at all, really. The obviously, the issue when it comes to Cheltenham as well, mm. it's very unlikely he's going to get Bobby Well. Mm. I mean, we've been going for years. <laughs> that will be well, firm. Britain, that um, will be firm, though, isn't it? That, yeah. how, many, how many times have we been? That ground is going to be firm. You would assume so. I mean, yeah. last few years has been frosty to say the very, very least. Yeah. Um, you can't imagine it's going to be. Uh... But on another note, on that, considering who he's racing against, or she, shall I say, will get the allowance. Mm. We'll get the allowance on that, and we know from last year and the year before the allowance is going to make a big difference. Any power for a start. Seven pound that obliterated that field. Right, it's going to go up that hill. Yeah, it? I mean, it is going to, it is going to they work in her favour. It is going to work yeah. in her favour. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is relatively unexposed, so maybe overstretching a Cheltenham win mm. this year round, possibly. In my maybe opinion, a step maybe too far. Maybe a step too maybe. far. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, maybe. But know. is there anywhere else for Cheltenham for that horse to go? Mm. I personally don't think so. Mm. The mares, but if Against, you look at the competition, yeah, exactly. If Apple yeah. Jade turns up. Yeah, she, she, yeah, she, yeah. I mean that, that's she should business. walk it really if, yeah. if the A one turns up. But yeah. um, there's there's no, no there's no racing. You never know. You don't know. But Very true. Mm. True, but I still don't think there's much competition if he goes mad. No, no. I can't. I, I mean, that, yeah. if you're talking bankers throughout the week, depending on who is and who isn't going. Mm. Apples J for the mares. Mm. Absolutely. Anyone doing accumulators, I think if, Apples if Jay's going to be your first selection. That's going to go um, in there, depending on obviously champion hurdle situation. Other but but Apple's J has got to be probably there. So we'll get on to a couple of other bankers at the end of this as well. I yeah, that's not the end. I know a couple of us are quite keen <laughs> actually to mention a couple of names that uh, we all assume are going to be <laughs> accumulators. Oh, okay. Yeah. We know where we're going with that one. Yeah, yeah. So, so while we're on the status, <laughs> right? I know Sean, you yes. are not a fan, but can we just take a couple of minutes just it's to talk not that about I'm not a fan. how good the new one was <laughs> the weekend just gone? Yeah. Uh, now, anyone who knows me knows I am a massive, massive Absolutely, fan since my first Absolutely. time at Cheltenham. He <clears> doesn't <throat> do it pretty, does he, guys? But no, no. at the end of the day, he gets the job done. Yeah. Um, Sam said, I cannot agree anymore. Mm. Absolute legend of a horse. Mm. Um, four in a row um, in the uh, Champion trial. I'm uh, going to go for the stayers now. Yeah. Um, if you watch the new one every time he runs, he always looks like he's off the bridle. Mm. A lot sooner than everyone else mm. is over two miles, two two, two and a half yeah. extra step up in trip. I'm not going to be a funny turn at though, twelves at some places. Mm. William Hill, I've seen yeah. twelve to one. Yeah, I've got to be having some of that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he's just not one. a left-handed track though, like Cheltenham has proven, has he? Because he jumps out. He does jump right. right. He does mm. jump right. But new tip. He doesn't do it every time. I don't no, know. No, no. If he watch him, he doesn't do it all the time. No, no. he did clean no, up his jumping. More recently, last few fences, I think it's just when he comes towards the end of the race. When he comes to shove, yeah. he, yeah. he gets a bit where he, he, mm. he's usually being challenged. Let's yeah. be honest with it. He mm. doesn't win his races clear cut. No, but in like, fairness to him. So that jumping right could be down to a little bit of, you know, a reaction to a horse pulling alongside. Well, it was Richard Johnson actually last year that rode him just, I think it was in December he when he watched him. He rode him he actually, Yeah, he actually changed tactic and he beat my tent or yours actually going round Cheltenham. And it's the first time I've actually seen him go off from the front, usually sits yeah. in um, yeah. because he's got quite a turn of foot. That's the first time I've seen actually someone put him mm -hmm. to the front yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. and said, all right, come on then, go past me. Sam actually is... Stayed with that. I mean, if you're mm. going to learn from yeah. anyone, it's going to be the champion jockey. Sounds yeah. And he seemed to have 
It seems to have worked. What I would say, in fairness to the Scotland horse, Chitabello, mm. yeah, looked like he was cruising two out, didn't he? He did. I feel the ground, <laughs> I mean, you read yeah, as yeah, well man. that they weren't keen on the ground going No, they definitely Skelton. weren't. They definitely weren't. Skelton was not happy with the conditions. No. No. Um, you know, he was pushed on the subject. Of course, he had to defend his horse, didn't he? You know, yeah, he's, um, he's going to. He's well, going to, exactly, yeah. 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 Um, you know, he, uh, he he said, well, you know, look, we're, we've all got the conditions, we've all got to deal with it. Yeah. Um, which is, yeah, in fairness, which is well, in fairness to um, to Dan Skelton as well, he actually, you know, he was the first one at the end of the race to give the new one a pat down the back. Yeah, and he so was, yeah, what a yeah. performance. Um, oh, it was the, the end. The going end over finish the, was unbelievable. Well, going over well, the last, it was, it was, it was yeah. beat, wasn't it? Was it? But again, yeah, as we said, yeah. he it was a classic new one. He doesn't do it pretty, yeah. but he gets the job he done. Gets the job done. As I say, he's, uh, he's my horse of a lifetime. And yeah, I, know where my, mm. I know where my five is going for the, <laughs> the status. So, yeah. uh, I mean, to be fair mm. to the new one as well, mm. you know, I, you're fully aware, I wouldn't say I'm his biggest fan. Mm. I made that very clear. I completely <laughs> understand, <laughs> yeah. for the record, why he is such a favoured choice of the fans. Yeah. Right? He gives you your money's worth. Mm. There are a lot of horses out there, and, you know, not always, mm. but you don't feel as a punter you're getting a race out of it. No, yeah. right? no, no. Whereas the new one, you could be two yeah. out, and he, he, you know he's still going to be there. And you don't out. stop. You no, don't no. see him get a point. Doesn't My only issue with him is, and like I've said to you before, I believe he's a very good group two horse, right? Mm. An outstanding, and mm. at times he has been. In a, a, he's a, doing this to a, wind me up. He's well, been. He has been a brilliant <laughs> group one horse, right? He has been, right? But as proven in his champion hurdles, he has been put out of his depth, right? Bar the Arcona fall, which we've watched, yeah. we've watched back. Yeah, we have, yeah. Right, mm. as recently as today, right? We've watched, we watched back today. today. I still yeah, say he right? won that race, but I'll let you... And uh, he would have been very close, mm. and I don't doubt that at all. I said yeah. that to you. It was mm. a horrific fall, a mm. fatal fall to a brilliant horse, yeah. which Arcona was, mm. that did hamper the new one by a good eight lengths, right? Mm. In a strong champion hurdle yeah. field. So I agree. After the year after that, he had no excuse and finished fifth. Mm. And I don't that was, that was against, disappointing. Wasn't it? Right, and against, disappointing against an aged Hurricane Fly, mm. uh, an absolute trooper of a Hurricane Fly. Yeah. but an aged Hurricane Fly. Mm. Don't get me wrong, he wasn't going to come close to Fahim. I'm, I'm not saying the new one should have been challenging Fahim, mm. but after seeing how he absolutely tanked up that hill the year before, yeah. You I would have wanted more, yeah. him to have been in the placings at the least. All I would say in his defence, because I will defend him, that's, mm. that's natural. Mm. Um, Nigel did say pretty much straight after the race that he wasn't 100%, he was carrying. Yeah. Now, of course, he didn't tell you that before the race, because but we're all they, punters at the end. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So he didn't mm. tell you that before mm. the race. Mm. But that aside, what a performance Saturday, mm. what yeah. a horse. Mm. Um, bring on Cheltenham. It's mm. a new trick for him. Mm. It is a new trick for him, but... Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. But stranger things have happened, absolutely. Yes. Shall we say? I mean, I mean talking to Cheltenham, mm. talking to Greg Horses, in mm. my opinion. Yeah. And the sun. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you are a fan. Um, what a race I, that was. You I, are I'm, a not, fan. I'm not going to lie, I am Mullins Camp. Yeah. But I'm the third Clarence House now? The third Clarence House, yeah. record breaking, I mean, clearing over a million. Mm. But mm. a horse that not always running to his true form. Mm. He has his ups and he has his downs. Mm. I will. But when he runs to form, mm. there are very few that will jump those fences yeah, like he did, him. He did go mm. for a phase where he was hitting yeah. every fence in sight. And he did, yeah. I think, didn't he four win sort of two in a row, one in France, yeah. actually, funny enough. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, when he's on it, he yeah. is on it. He's I mean, he came right, against yeah. an absolute beast of a sprinter, Sacra, yeah. mm. um, the year of his return. I mean, and absolutely, oh, on the turn down he'll, on the turn for home, mm. I mean, it's like obviously quite new to the spot. Yeah, absolutely. The yeah, Cheltenham yeah, yeah. Hill, obviously, you've mm. got the back, haven't you? They turn left handed to go down the hill where they usually the pace will quicken up as good. You don't realize turn. until you it's literally, it's yeah, it's but I can't wait to get it. Yeah, it's it it's it literally like yeah, that. Yeah. But, no, but no. as they turn down that hill, sprint a separate, turn the screw just a little bit, but as they turn for home to get up the hill, you know. It was the revival of a horse that everyone wanted mm. to see mm. revived. Yeah, yeah. You know, the, the, you know I'm a massive Underside fan, yeah. a, a massive Mullins fan, but to see Sprinter steam up that hill to that mm. roar was a bit special. Mm. I mean, any horse racing fan that watched that then would have would have yeah. would have been excited for him. Back to the 
Clarence House though at the weekend. Mm. Um, that was a bit like, more like the end of Soul that we know, isn't it? It to was. To be fair. Now, it's, it's funny actually because it was billed as two weeks before the race. There was going to be no one anywhere near him, yeah. which in fairness mm. is how it turned out. Yeah, a, week exactly finished, race, yeah. a week before the race, there seemed to be an awful lot of money coming in for Nicky's off, brain mm. power. Yeah, yeah, which again was, it, yeah. was mm. the surprise. I mean, a lot of people. I mean, Seemed out of his depth, didn't he? I think. I mm. think. I, I've said to you before, and you know, without going too much into, you know, not pointing fingers and not mm. letting it go down the road, but mm. considering. He was a novice horse. At the moment, he's a novice. Yeah. Um, to stand him up against over a fence, horse, certainly over a fence. Yeah. Um, of Undersoe's quality and ability, mm. knowing that Tingle Creek, when put under pressure, it was Tingle Creek, wasn't it? When he was put under pressure and lost to So Royal. Mm-hmm. So you know, when that horse is called upon to do mm. a job, you know, it seems to panic. They seem to find a stride that shouldn't be there. He mm. seems to hit a fence. He was very fortunate. Mm. You know, to be able to stand up and walk away. Yeah, he was. Because yeah, I saw it. It looked like um, it was Danny, uh, poor Danny Mullins. And he looked mm. like he was down and he was out for a little while. Mm. And I think everyone sort of, yeah, especially worst, recently yeah. with things going on at mm. Sandown, etc. Mm. I think you sort of fear mm. the worst. But yeah. as you said, but um, mm. no, fortunately, both uh, horse and jockey did get up. But yeah, um, yeah I mean, let's say I mean, I mean, three it's, out. There was only going to be yeah, I mean, only, he was, could be one winner. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, spirit yeah. it. You know. Oh yeah. Fair play to Sean Bowie. Yeah, yeah, he, he wanted, to make, he he wanted to make that running. Yeah, he right. went off. He, and he and, did. Uh, for a yeah. long way, you kind of felt, you know, as you do, they go round the back. Yeah. Back turn, and you're thinking, okay, surely at what point will Spirit it start coming back to me? Mm. It didn't really seem to. It didn't no, look no, like it. Give it a fair good No, point. no, and in fairness mm. to Sean Bowen as well, because mm. it was a change of tactic, because mm. um, Spirit Deck ran at Sandown a couple of weeks ago when mm. we were there, and um, the video is on the website as well if you mm. want to recheck that race. Um, didn't go off in front that no. day, but Sat had a wonderful no, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, a couple of fences yeah. out. Mm. But again, if you are going to beat something like under so, you have you're going to show up and you've got to try something. Yeah, yeah. You've got to and he, he did, and in fairness yeah. to Bowen, he sort of played, yeah. uh, he put himself out there, catch mm. me if you can, and mm. he Fuck. got caught. It and, was uh, literally swingy bottom, mm. two hour game changer. Yeah. Yeah. It was almost like town then had set on it and gone now. Now yeah, we know. You know, yeah, he knew what he was doing. He yeah. didn't yeah. have to chase yeah. Spirit Deck, he knew what he was sat on. And he was never going to need to chase him. Yeah. And then when he asked him to go, I mean, he just pinged. Oh, okay, we know the horse likes it mm. a bit dirty underfoot, so to speak. A little, a little bit of mud, a yeah, little bit. Of yeah, yeah. We know that anyway. So we were expecting him to do great things. Yeah, yeah. The conditions were right for him. Yeah, yeah they, yeah. they worked in his favour. We yeah. know what he's about, mm. but you still never know. Yeah. With the way the Mullins camp has been going, it's mm. not been hit and miss. Mm. These things happen. You know, for him pulled up. Mm. For the right reasons. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Van has yeah, been. So again, we've got our opinion on that. Now, we but, have. Um, you know, we have. That being said, under so eight to one for the Queen Mother. You've got to be having a look at that, haven't you? Mm. I mean, without knowing, uh, as we say, mm. at the moment, from if what the we out your, yeah, from what we hear from yeah. that camp, yeah, he's still only 50 50 Yeah, mm. no guarantee. So to go against under so eight to one, mm. William Hill. At the William Hill eight to one. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I fail to see. I just Money back on runner. Yeah, it is at the yeah, moment. It's free. Yeah, it is at the moment. It makes sense. Yeah. We've all been in your accumulators, your lucky 15s, your Yankees, whatever you're thinking of doing. That's yeah. a lovely bet. Uh, yeah, again, ground, bet. ground depending, yes. Yeah. Is up you against know. Altior, who we will come on to because mm. I am keen yeah. to, uh, yeah, yeah. to at least give him a mention. But, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, Queen Mother for Underso. Yeah. Um, possible Gold Cup contender, oh, who I didn't see at the weekend, but. You yeah. did, from what yeah. I gather. That's um, what I feel. Yeah, yeah, it was a really good race. Um, uh, American Tom led for pretty much most of it. Which is a Mullins again, yeah. isn't he? Um, is he? Usual tactic. He set off well, um, but uh, that's what I feel. Tracked him all the way. Mm. Um, never really let him get too far away. Um, jumped well, cleared his fences quite well. What again, the conditions were fantastic. I don't know off the top of my head. Don't um, at the moment know what he's But um, yeah, it was a very good race. If anyone does know that, and, um, let us know because yeah, and it was um, you know the sort of the finish you expect of a you know a decent horse. You know, yeah. um, knows when to go, when not to go, um, and um, you know really coming to the last over the last. You know, put he, it to um, bed. Yeah, put it mm. to bed basically, mm. and. Um, 
you know, didn't really give him much of a chance and no. off he went. No, really. uh, but it was a good win. Um, it wasn't the toughest race in the world for him. But no, it was a few um, of five. Yeah, it was about, f- about five, I think. Yeah, and um, sure. yeah, it, was, it wasn't the toughest race, but um, you can only beat what's in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, he's done absolutely. well enough to do that. And, and you know, and well, it does look like the Gold Cup is the aim. So, again, mm. if anyone does know what sort of price, I'm sure we can look it up as easy as you like, but if anyone mm. knows what sort of price you're getting on that, I feel for the Gold Cup. Yeah, um, I mean, as I say, we say it's uh, an outlook for the Gold Cup. Well, where else do you purely, mm. purely on the basis that, you know, Giggins Town have won this before with Don mm. Cossack. Mm. Went on to win the Gold Cup. Mm. As we know, Size and John, John last year, year. won last year, yeah. Gold Cup. There's a possibility, I mean... Good you've form got, as well at the moment. Good form at the moment. I mean, Cracking form, really. He Who is, your figures over in Ireland? Yeah, yeah, I mean, so you've got to yeah. Look at the, uh, yeah that's true. Yeah, yeah. He's up for the Ryanair as well, I believe, but at a price of 33 to 1. Mm. Would suggest in some way, maybe not their main yeah. target. Well, I say we did see... Uh, Giving sound horses out, run odds like that last year. So yeah, stranger yeah. things has happened. Oh yeah, no, it does have him in. Uh, sorry, um, Gordon Elliott does have his Gordon horses. Elliott. Yeah, in superb shape. He does, as much. Yeah, so, yeah, definitely. And so if we can yeah. get some figures on that, um, some prices. Oh yeah, we'd be able to know what what prices. Going to do very there. well to beat Mike White. I know, mean, I know, we're not. Um, you know, we're only really talking about no. uh, yeah. the Gold Cup essentially at the moment. Mm. You'll do very well to meet Mike White. Uh, yeah. Mike Again, White. you'd do very well to beat Simon John mm. if reports of. Any mishap to clear up yeah. his last run, where he was, if we're being honest, highly I'm disappointed. Yeah, 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 for yeah, our yeah. highly expected. Yeah, hall, well, know, it did we turn out there was lot. something yeah. amiss. So, yeah. um, assuming that everyone is 100 percent fit and healthy for the festival, Bristol Domain you can't discount if it goes it down with rain. But, yes, um, yeah, he will we'll say. Okay. Um, again, he's got his own issues at the moment. Had some issues, yeah, yeah, yeah. So again, ulcers, I think. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I'm not ulcers. Yeah, King George. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think yeah, we all expected yeah, a bit more. Some, it was running tougher, probably exactly. in that race. We expected a little we bit did. more from him. We I did. did. Um, I did. Any any also beat Q car by fifty seven lengths. Again, I know the conditions were mm, different. Yeah. Um, but again, if it does mm. hammer it down with rain, mm. I think at the moment, if you're looking at double figure odds for Bristol to make, mm. as soon as it starts to rain, you yeah. can you can half that straight away. Yeah, absolutely. You're yeah. certainly not going to dismiss Bristol to make, but no. again, it mm. will be ground dependent. Mm. Well, it's not. It's not fully ground mm. dependent. But if he gets the weather he wants, yeah. he'll take a lot of beating. Yeah, well, Nigel yeah. said that's where he's going. He's got nowhere else to go. So some cracking horses in that field. I mean, it will be. A, a <laughs> There's very, some cracking horses. It will in that be field. a very tight. I mean, on a on another note, I know we'll probably get across that with the weeks to come, as he mm. still hasn't run yet, which is a name that has eluded a lot of people. Mm. Colin Tizard's native river. Mm-hmm. Now, yep. Surely, with Q card avoiding the Gold Cup. Yep. With this will crack out. Mm. Is Native River his best chance? Yes, hundred we percent. Very about... well, very well fancied last yeah. year. Um, didn't quite have it. I didn't even run it the second or third in the end. He but, played um, on the, yeah. Mm. So he's you know without going into it because obviously we will come across that. Yeah, some we'll, way. Get to, we'll get to them. Go but on, Native uh, River is a horse that I'm excited to see back personally mm. with Gold Cup in mind. A lot of each way punts out there by the looks yeah, of things. Definitely. I do think it's Mike White's to lose, but however, yeah. anyway, so we will get on to the. Um, Major River ever run out the weekend? No, not this. No, I, well, well was planned it? to, I believe. Native Rock. Native Rock. Yeah, sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But no, Native mm. River yet to be spoke about, which I, I hope, mm. personally, but he comes back and he, he you know, he's, he's in the form he should be mm. in. But to be seen. Uh, possibly, mm. possibly. I'm nice. still loving Black Line for that, don't you? Yes, I'm fully aware on that one. Mm. Um, but I don't I know. I'm a little bit in that camp myself. Being yeah. someone new, it's, he's sort of done well with the times that I've off, come yeah. into the sport, mm, yeah. or since I've been following it. Um, and um, yeah, it's a um, horse has definitely caught my eye. And, yeah, yeah, running crap um, last year. Yeah, running um, RSA. Yeah, last year. Well, I had a couple of times backed it myself, mm. you know, a couple of wins on it. Mm. So, you know, I mean, you build that. Affiliation, don't you? You know, when, when you, mm. you know, when you, when you see a horse do well, and you like mm. the look of, and mm. um, so it's definitely one that's sort of in Call quite early, yeah. sort of uh, what's that? Early days, you know. What I mean, definitely. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Well, like I say, talking of yeah. horses to yet make an appearance again, if we could, a favourite yes. horse, out here. Yeah, um, I mean, an absolute. Beast, we have seen him. I mean, we were there last year. Yeah, yeah. We, we see last year. We got very recently, November, December last year. Uh, there was a small bit in here from Nicky Henderson that basically um, 
uh, said, I will get to it, said that he's doing very, very well. Um, plan is, uh, all being well, that he'll go to Newbury on February the 10th for the Game Spirit Chase, which he did win last year as a novice. Yeah. Oh, right. um, that is the plan. But for anyone going to Newbury on that day, that's February 10th, by the way, um, to get excited about, even if he doesn't actually mm. compete, um, there gallop. will be a race course gallop yep. just to see how he's going. Oh, okay. Let Nicky have a listen to him. and then um, Is that something that's like open to the public then as well? Then basically? Well, yeah, it's it's probably be the course will still be open right, okay. between races yeah, yeah. at some point, but yeah, so it gives the, you know, gives the punt something to look forward yeah. to. Well, I, mean, I, I for myself, have not seen him run yet. Um, I mean, I, it's a horse yeah. we've yeah. we've watched. We had the pleasure of watching last mm. year on Champions Day at Cheltenham on the first night, mm. and probably throughout the week the most impressive one. The year before we, that in the Supreme as well, we did. He put him in out of sight actually yeah. by a good five mm. or six lengths. But he is. I mean, that's not exactly a bad horse. No, either. but again, that was when you yeah. knew you had something special because mm. I think um, since then he's just literally gone from strength to yeah. strength. Yeah. Yeah. Nicky has compared him to. Sprint Sacro, we mentioned earlier, there's some going if you're uh, anywhere oh, near. Like, oh, like to yourself, Sprint mm. Sacro, you know, obviously you've not yet Legendary. Uh, but, uh, um, affiliated yourself with him, and but yeah. he is one of those that will be on the name. Also, belongs. Yeah, also he, he belongs was. Time, he was. Time. I mean, if Al Tior can be close to that, mm. he's done well. They, they've he's done done themselves. Well. They've he done is well on his the closest mm. comparison I've seen for a very long time. So, yeah, all being well, mm. he will be going to Newbury one way or the other, whether that's in a competitive sense or whether he's just going to get a run out. Yeah. But, heavy, heavy favourite for the Queen Mother. And right, I can't so. see past him, if I'm no. honest. 11 to 8, 6 to 4 in some places. But, um, no, right, still say the same if he doesn't get a run out of Newbury, or do you think that'll definitely? I think he's that good. I do. Yeah. I do think he is that. To be honest, good. I if think... he doesn't get a run out at Newbury, they're pushing it very close. They to are. Him. Any sort of runs to get him to each mm. No, don't get me wrong. I still think that that horse there mm. is probably capable. If they feel that he's in his right mind mm. without any run under mm. his belt, yeah, probably capable of going there and still. Yeah, him. as I said, I mean the training job that Nicky did with mm. Sprinter. Um, and obviously, he had problems mm. way beyond what mm. Altior had. As I say, it was a small wind up that he had, and 99.9% uh, of the time that solves any problem. But Nicky did say he would have a listen to see if he hear any noise. Mm. If he doesn't, the plan is to say he'll have the gallop regardless, um, even if he doesn't compete. I personally hope and pray that he does have a run out mm. yeah. because I think we've all I'd missed. To watch him to watch him jump yeah. and the, the way he started racing, yeah. he, I mean, the whole thing is easy. Mm. He, does. he doesn't just win, he beats them into submission. Mm. The race is one, two jumps out. Yeah, it's... Um, I mean, oh, that, that won't be the same this time round. Necessarily hasn't had his runs. Yeah. We don't know what shape he's in. Yeah. He, if he's half the horse he was last mm. year. You You've know, got some horse on your hand. Yeah. But yeah, as I said, 11 to 8, 6 to 4 in places for the Queen Mother. Mm. Um, we mentioned Bankers. It's got That's that one mine, if I'm honest with yeah. you. That is mine. Like I said, if he turns up, mm. he, he runs his race, he wins. Mm. Yeah. Absolutely. Pistol crack though, he needed an extra couple of runs, really. And still hasn't quite got back to. It's a shame. Well, it's, 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 it's a shame they had to pull mm. Thistle crack from the season. Mm. Um, he didn't impress at the start. No, it is a shame though, because Tizard did say he's, he's getting actually somewhere back to where he thought he was going to be. Yeah. Um, but they've stopped know. him. Mm. He, he won't run the rest of this season. No. Mm. Surely that's a good thing. Mm. Still, you know, got a lot of capabilities yeah. in the halt mm. to possibly. Okay. He's had a couple of runs, I think that was planned. Yeah, maybe. maybe Children one step right. too maybe far. Not quite ready to come back. Well, yeah. something's amiss, I'm sure yeah. we'll find out more. Yeah, yeah, over time. Further on, yeah. but um, mm. again, another horse that we wish all the best to. And uh, come back soon, but um, yeah. lots to look forward to. And to Cheltenham. They do indeed. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got lots to look forward to, lots to be excited about. Um, obviously, get involved, let us know your thoughts and feelings. Uh, you can get us on um, either on our forums uh, at www.moneyrider.co.uk. Uh, you can contact us um, on Twitter at money underscore rider, and also you can find us on Facebook, um, Money Rider Blog. Uh, just search us, and you'll find us there. And get involved. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, thanks for taking the time to watch this, and uh, we'll see you again next time. Thanks, guys. Hi, guys. That's it. Our first video. We hope you liked it. We'd love to get some feedback. Uh, so don't forget to subscribe and give us a like and we'll see you again next time. Goodbye.